Hello people! So we're gonna start off by making our dough. So we'll need some flour, some oil, ginger, some spring onions and some black vinegar. You can use malt vinegar if you do not have this type of vinegar. Some soy sauce, salt, a bit of pepper and as well as 220 millilitres of boiling water. So today we're using a machine. You can do this all by hand as well. And we're gonna add in our water bit by bit as we go. So if you are using a machine, just make sure to push down any excess flour that has stuck to the side of the bowl. So you don't want your dough to be too sticky or too dry. So once that's done, we're gonna take it out and knead it by hand. And we're just going to put it in a bowl and coat it with a bit of oil and let it rise with a damp tissue and cloth. So we're going to leave it to rise for about half an hour but the longer you leave it the better. In the meantime we're going to make our spring onions so we're going to cut it in half and crush the bottom half of the spring onions and put it into a bowl. With the rest we're going to thinly slice it. So we're going to take a pan, put it on medium heat, add a bit of oil and our bottom crushed spring onions. So we're going to let it sizzle and gain a bit of colour. Once it's gained a bit of colour, we're going to add a bit of flour to thicken up the oil and season it with a bit of salt and a bit of pepper. So once that's done, we're just going to leave it to the side to cool down. In the meantime, we're going to make our side sauce and we're going to take off all the ginger skin so that it's easier to grate. So once it's all grated, we're going to take a side bowl and put in our grated ginger, two tablespoons of vinegar and two tablespoons of soy sauce. So we decided to use some chili flakes to spice it up a little bit. You can also do the same, but it is optional. So it's been about half an hour since we let the dough rise. We're gonna take it and just double check that it is of stretchy consistency. If it is, we're gonna roll it out into a sausage-like shape and cut it in half. With those halves, we wanna cut it into three equal segments. So once it's done, we just want to roll it out into equal sized balls. So we're going to take one and put the rest under a damp tissue. So we're going to use a bit of oil on our surface rather than flour so that the dough does not stick. So once we have our dough, we're just going to roll it again and squash it down. So the idea is to create an oblong shape and make sure that it is rolled out as thinly as possible. When you are rolling it, make sure to turn it over and roll the other side. So we're going to go back with our flavoured oil and just coat it and brush it onto our dough. And add on your spring onions. So don't be shy with your spring onions, add as much as you possibly can and you can add a bit of salt as well. So this technique is called the fan technique, it's where you grab a bit of dough and then you just want to lift it up and tuck it under. So don't worry about any spring onions coming loose, it's inevitable. So it should look a little something like this. And then we want to take the ends and roll it in to each other. Once 
you've done that, you just want to stack it on top of each other and just let it rest. This is the second technique called the rolling technique, which is a lot easier. And you just want to take a little bit of dough and just start to roll it. Make sure that you do not roll it too tight. So this is another method of stacking. So you just want to put them all under the damp tissue and let them rest. Once you've let them rest for about 15 minutes, you just want to take them out and flatten them like so. And you just want to roll it out. So you don't want to roll them out too thin as you're looking to create a nice puffiness to them. If it starts to stick, add a bit of oil to your rolling pin and just keep rolling. Next we want to heat up our pan on a medium heat and just let it cook. If it does start to stick, you want to take some of that flavoured oil we made earlier and just add a little bit on. So once it becomes a kind of glutinous, transparent look, you just want to flip it over four to five times so you get a nice golden brown colour. So we made a plain one and as you can see there are air bubbles which is a good sign of a good pancake. So again, flip it over until it gains a nice brown colour. So if there are any excess oils, feel free to take a tissue and just dab any off. And there you have it.